Welcome to Checkpoint Jumpstart Training Series. In this training series, we'll be looking at different Checkpoint Cloud Guard product lines. Checkpoint Cloud Guard is a suite of products and solutions that can secure your data and virtual networks in the cloud. In this training module, we'll examine our first Cloud Guard capabilities called the Cloud Guard Private and Public Network Security. Cloud Guard Network Security is used to protect both your private and public cloud network assets. My name is Manuel Joaquin, and I will be your technical trainer for this training module. But before we get started, let's take a quick look at the agenda of this training video. We're going to break this training video into two separate lessons. Each lesson will be a separate video. You can view them all together in one viewing or consume them separately as needed at your own leisure. Lesson one, Cloud Guard Solutions. Here, we'll look at Checkpoint Cloud Guard security solutions to secure your cloud environments. We will look at some of the Cloud Guard capabilities in both the private cloud and also the public cloud environment. Lesson two, Cloud Guard Components. In this lesson, we'll take a look at the components for Cloud Guard, the management station, the gateway, and now the controller. We will break these components down to give you a better perspective on how they work. And then lesson three, cloud segmentation. Cloud Guard can be used to protect your cloud environments. And here we're going to discuss how to use Cloud Guard to segment your cloud, to give you the ultimate protection with north, south, and east-west segmentation. Let's start this first lesson by discussing some of the Cloud Guard cloud solutions. Here, we will examine Cloud Guard capabilities that are used to protect both your cloud assets and your network assets. Cloud Guard can be deployed in both public and private clouds. Each of these solutions has some pros and cons, but we're not going to go into detail here. But suffice to say that each cloud has some advantages. In the public cloud, you don't need to purchase any equipment, so it's cheaper to launch. In the private cloud, you own all the equipment, and so it's a more expensive upfront cost. And in turn, each cloud solution has some disadvantages. In the public cloud, your data has to be uploaded to the cloud into the public domain, so it potentially it could be accessible by anyone. So you need to make sure that you lock down the access and permissions to prevent any data leakage. In the private cloud, your data is local, which means it's a bit more secure, but you still need to make sure that you've patched any vulnerabilities to prevent any data breaches. In the public cloud, we currently support six cloud providers, AWS, the Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure Cloud, the Google Cloud Platform, Oracle Cloud, Alibaba Cloud, and IBM Cloud. All of these clouds are currently supported by Checkpoint's Cloud Guard network security solutions. As far as cloud providers go, AWS dominates 40% of the market, Azure controls about 30% of the market, Google has about 20%, and the rest is split between the other cloud providers. Cloud Guard not only protects public cloud environments, but also private cloud environments. There are a few types of private cloud environments, and we can classify them into two primary types, into two primary groups. In the first type, in the first group, Cloud Guard is supported on virtualization software, such as hypervisor operating systems. And in the second type, in the second group, Cloud Guard is also supported on software-defined networks, which can also be referred to as software-defined data centers. And in the second type, not only do we virtualize servers, virtual machines, but we can also virtualize the whole gamut of network infrastructures, like routers and switches, firewalls and gateways. Let's break this down a little bit further. In the hypervisor methodology, Cloud Guard is currently supported on a few hypervisor operating systems. We currently support Cloud Guard running 
on VMR ESX operating system, on Microsoft Hyper-V operating system, on Linux KVM, and also on Unix. The other class, the other type of private cloud is the software-defined networks. A software-defined network can virtualize the whole network infrastructure, and CloudGuard can be installed here to protect the whole virtualized network infrastructure. On a software-defined network, CloudGuard is supported on VMware, NSX, Cisco, ACI, and also on Nokia Nodge networks. But about 84% of customers are probably running a hybrid solution, which combines both the public and private clouds. Most customers need a cloud security solution that can run in multiple environments, either on the premise, in the cloud, or in a multi-cloud, or in a hybrid cloud. That means that the security solution must offer the best security protection on the market, while at the same time, it should also be easily configurable and have a single unified management solution. CloudGuard does exactly that. It helps enforce a consistent policy throughout all environments and all assets. And it also helps in reducing operation, training, and education costs, which minimize knowledge gaps. That brings us to the end of this lesson. Let's quickly recap before exiting this video. In lesson one, we discussed that CloudGuard can be deployed in both the public and private clouds and that most customers need a solution that can be deployed both in a public or a private cloud. And they also need a solution that can be easily managed when deployed in multi-clouds and in hybrid clouds environments. CloudGuard private and public cloud network security product is such a solution. That completes our first lesson. In the next lesson, we will discuss different CloudGuard components. I'll see you there.